talk about something I think it's they refer to themselves as the Bruno the Bruno Grunig circle of friends have you heard the name Bruno Grunig well you may very well have because well, Bruno was an amazing man he is an amazing being whose influence on the world is being felt more than ever before. Uh, Bruno Grunig lived, um, well, he was a young man at the time of the Second World War. He lived in Germany. And um, they tried to force him to fight, the Nazis did. Uh, but they couldn't really get that, uh, get him to do that, uh, he was. I do think he's. It's. It's not important. I do think he served because he had to. But what's really important is about the man he became. That he was already very well become, much becoming, uh, from his early childhood. He became the greatest healer of our times. A healer on the scope of, um, well, maybe Jesus frankly. Um, there were, after the war, when Germany lost, thank God, <laughs> they, um, thousands of people would, would attend his gatherings and he would conduct healings and people had amazing, mirac miraculous healings and they were medically well documented. Um, very documented. The organization uh, has material about the life of Bruno. He was persecuted by the medical establishment in post-war Germany. And um, in the end, like many great yogis, actually, people like uh, Sri Aurobindo, great masters, um, and um, Sri Ramakrishna, who wrote the Gospel of Sri Ramakrishna, like many great masters, uh, he took on, uh, apparently, I would say, and many others, he took on the karma of a great many people. He became, became sick, and he, um, he died himself. Now, just because he was the greatest healer of our times didn't mean that he wasn't like Aurobindo and Sri Ramakrishna that um, he was immune or his soul from the, the maladies of, of being a human and it doesn't mean that um, that he would stay here forever that's apparently that's not what he was here to do he was here to come for a, for a while and to do an important very very important work the long and the short of it is there are Bruno Grune groups in major cities all over the world, including in Jerusalem, where, where I live very close. And all the major cities, even in Japan, I understand that many all over. Um, why? What is it? And, and they are well attended and have had very good results. You know, it's not an automatic thing that you're automatically going to get better. Some people will experience physical healing and other people um, won't. Maybe they'll, but they will feel, I'm, I'm quite positive, mental, emotional, spiritual healing of feeling this loving energy that is activated in this work. And it's a very, very simple work that I'd also like to... Um, to explain and to do a little with you right now. So, 
Well, apparently uh, Bruno is one of these great souls, probably I would say. He's been a, a, an avatar or a great master who, who's come to humanity maybe, maybe more than once, more than that just one lifetime. But even though he's no longer in physical, he's still helping humanity. And the way the work goes is you say, you say this thing, uh, you ask this great spirit, Bruno, please send me the, uh, the healing stream. And I can feel it actually just from having said it. And, and all and desiring it, of course, I feel it coming down right now. That's it. Simple. Bruno, please send me the healing stream in the, in the Bruno groups. They say the Heilstrom. There's power in using those German words because, because it's like the symbol, the words themselves, have been invested with a certain energy by another saying that for a long enough time, and he was, in this last lifetime, he was German. So there is a certain power in saying it in the, um, in, in his language, Heil, Strom, the Heil Strom. He's also got the Om, the all-powerful Om, that, that O, which contains all the power in the universe, so they say, in, the, in India and the Far East, that O and the M, which grounds it into the physical. So I love using the German phraseology, the Heilstrom. Um, so you say, Bruno, please send me the Heilstrom, the healing stream. And he's like, if you will, he's uh, the master who's been for us on this world, connected in a particular way with the Heilstrom, just like there are great masters connected with the Blu-ray. The Blu-ray master is El Maria, and it would also be appropriate to call on El Maria to send the Blu-ray of the Will of God, if that's what you want to experience. Or there's Lord Lanto, Lord Lanto, who was a great Chinese master. And he's, he's the master of the Yellow Ray, the, the, um, the, the Kohan of the Golden Ray, also Katumi as well, so I've heard. So it's perfectly appropriate to call on Lord Lanto of the Golden Ray, the Yellow Ray, um, and so on, Paul the Venetian of the ro Rose Pink. In any case, so, in the same way, uh, Bruno is particularly connected to the Heilstrom, the healing stream. Now, if you call on Jesus or Buddha or Mohammed, I think it would work just as, pretty much just as well. But he is like this, this being connected to the um, to the this thing called the Heilstrom, which is which is a universal healing stream, like Archangel Michael is connected to the Blu-ray to the to the Blu-ray of Truth and uh, guidance and protection and Jesus the golden ray as well so you, anytime you want you call on you say Bruno please send me why don't, why don't we try that right now everybody listening just say Bruno out loud or silently say Bruno please send me the house strong or the healing stream or however you want to say it I'm feeling something throughout my whole body. This sort of uh, pins and needles type feeling. It's very clear. I've become sensitive over the years of different spiritual exercises, practices. Uh, I, I mean, I feel things very, very much and very fast. Maybe you feel it though, a, a tingling? Something like pins and, something like pins and needles? So, um, uh, heating up, I feel that right now as well. And the way you would do it is you sit with it and just receive. If you want to focus on the words healing stream, 
and try to dive as deep as you can into those sounds and letters or the Heilstrom, which I found very powerful, that ah, that ha, the heavenly ha, and the ah of the heart chakra, and the e, heil, that e which is after, which it makes things concrete, that into one physical point that concretizes, that makes physical. The Heil and the Lamed, the L, that connects above and below. And then the Strom, the Heil Strom, the, that Om. What could be more powerful than that Om? And you have the STR, the R is radiation. Like the God, the Sun God, Ra. What could be more? The Strom, these are all coded. All languages are coded and healing stream. So, so you might want to try to dive into these words. These are techniques that I do. For me, I'm very connected to sound and to letters and to language. It's all a dance. You know, when you make the sound Heilstrom, with that intention of love and light and healing, Heilstrom, you know, it, it's actually literally a dance. It's a dance of, of the mouth and the tongue and the tongue is a dancer and it's all and the mouth is literally a dancer and if you if you understand it the right way you could get high on that dance just like you could get high on on seeing Barishnikov dance or Nureyev or whoever the modern equivalents are Heilstrom you can feel the beauty of the movements. You can feel the beauty of the sound. That's one way to connect. Or just with the intention of the, what this, with the imagining, what could this be, this healing stream? You take it very deep, dive into it. So you sit with this energy for a few minutes, or as long as you feel like, and then you say, Bruno, please send the Heilstrom to my whole family. And then you feel as if the energy is still coming to you, but you also somehow feel that your family is receiving it. It's, it's a different quality of feeling, a different, you can feel the spreading out somehow. So we're all connected. It's one, we're all, you know, the whole universe is one living mandala and we're all connected. So now, after I've said that, and I'm intending it for my family as well, who were just around here, um, I, I feel that spreading out to them some way, that, that it's like, it's coming to them, it's also coming into me and radiating out to them. I feel that it's, it's a wider scope now, different in quality. The first part is important, but then it's important to widen it, widen it to our families. And then after you sit with that, and maybe you might want to just a little bit visualize your particular people in your family getting healing and the love, then, or just connecting with that a little bit, not maybe visualizing. And then you say, Bruno, please send the Heilstrom to to all of my friends and now again I can feel the widening reaching out to my friends to the people I love or who I've known through the years or who have been close to me or are close to me I feel the widening and I might even focus on this friend who I really know needs who I really know needs it, or or another friend, people who are in difficulty. I could feel it and I could sort of with my intention ask, intend that it get to this particular friend who's in really hard times. They get to him in particular I might intend. Um uh, 